Eminent leaders of thought screen five top contenders of Igbo descent for Nigerian presidency. As the search for a suitable presidential candidate begins, a high-powered group of prominent leaders in Nigeria, under the ages of the Southern Leaders of Thought, otherwise known as Project Nigeria Movement, has purportedly penciled down five personalities they consider fit to be candidates of the most denied Igbo-speaking part of the country in the race for the 2023 presidency. An inside source revealed that the professor Ben Mwabweze led group of political heavyweights, which also has former Commonwealth Secretary General, His Excellency Chief Emeka Anyoku, and the Nadeko leader, Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kanu, amongst others, as frontline associates. Believes it is just fair that the next president comes from Igbo land given the long-standing denial of the tribe from clinching the highest political job of the land. According to the insider, the senior citizens are planning a thorough screening for five contenders, shortlisted among numerous personalities nominated and considered by various interests in the group, after which one of the such listed personalities will be enlisted uh, or will be endorsed as the eventual candidate of the group. Although it's not yet clear on which platform the eventual choice of the group will contest. However, there are indications that the popular Gali Umar Naaba led NC front when eventually registered and launched as a mega political party, may serve as the political platform for the group's presidential candidate. The source also revealed that the screening will hold in March 2021, when the five shortlisted candidates would have been formally contacted. The leaders, according to another reliable Source are considering one of the following presidential candidates for the 2023 mandates. Olisa Agbakoba. Olisa Agbakoba's son is a frontline human rights activist and founder and first president of the Civil Liberty Organization, the largest human rights movement in Nigeria, is a veteran of many pro democracy battles, chief among which was his 5 million man pro-democracy march in Lagos to counter the Kano-led youth earnestly, earnestly asks for Abacha's 2 million man rally in Abuja during the hair days of the dark goggled Sani, General Sani Abacha. Agbakoba has paid his dues as far as human rights and pro-democracy issues are concerned. He's a big maritime lawyer and former president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Aside human rights activism, his work in maritime law in Nigeria has been profound. He is the founder and first president of the Nigerian Shipping Chamber of Commerce, as well as the chairman of the largest political movement in Nigeria, Nigeria Intervention Movement, which gave rise to the third force political movement in the run up to the 2019 general elections. Born in Jos on May 29, 1953, Agbakoba hails from Onicha, the commercial hub of Anambra State. Another candidate or the second candidate on this list is Pat Utomi. Patrick Okedinachi Utomi is a Nigerian professor of political economy and management expert. He is a fellow of the Institute of Management Consultants of Nigeria and a two-time presidential candidate in Nigeria. He is the founder of Center for Value in Leadership and the African De Democratic Congress, ADC. 
I'm the first presidential candidate of the rejuvenated Social Democratic Party in 2011. Utomi is also the founder of the Lagos Business School, LBS, and has served in the senior government position as presidential advisor to President Sheu Shagari in 1983 and in the private sector as chief operating officer of Volkswagen Nigeria. Born in Kaduna, Utomi is from the Igbo-speaking area of Delta State, precisely Ibuzo in Oshimili North local government area. He was born on February 6, 1956. Obi Ezekwesili, a chartered accountant by profession, Obiageli Ezekwesili hails from Anambra State. She was instrumental to the introduction of due process in the budget of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the administration of Olusegun Obasanjo. Hence, she got the moniker Madam Due Process. She later served as Federal Minister of Solid Minerals and as Federal Minister of Education during the second term presidency of Olusegun Obasanjo. Subsequently, she served as the Vice President of World Bank's African Division from May 2007 to May 2012. Ezekwesili was a 2018 nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize for her work in transparency in the extractive sector. She was born on April 28, 1963. All right, the next candidate here is Kingsley Mogalu. Kingsley Chiedu Mogalu is a Nigerian political economist, lawyer, former United Nations official, and professor of international business and public policy at the Tufts University's Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy. Kingsley is the founder of Sogato Strategies, LLC, and a senior advisor of the Official Monetary and Financial Institutions Forum in 2016. Mogalu founded the Institute, of Co Institute for, Co for Governance and Economic Transformation. He was a former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria before he veered into politics. Mogalu was the young Progressive Party YPP presidential candidate for the 2019 presidential elections. He was born in Lagos in 1963. Mogalu hails from Anambra State. The fifth candidate on the list is Peter Obi. Peter Gregory Obi, a politician and businessman, was a vice presidential candidate in 2019, the Nigerian general election, under the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. He was the former governor of Anambra State seven from March 17, 2006 to November 2nd, 2006, when he was impeached from February 9, 2007 to May 2007, after his impeachment was overturned. Although a fresh election was held on April 29, 2007, he was re-elected governor on June 14, 2007. Following a court ruling that he should be allowed to complete a four-year term, on February 6, 2010, he won the election for a second term as governor. Obi was born on July 19, 1961. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning the five candidates that has been uh, presented, has been listed by these eminent leaders of thought of the Southeast part of the country as possible candidates that will bear the flag of the Igbos come 2023 when they hope to contest for presidency. Well, all the persons that have been listed here are eminent leaders and people who have the value, they have the leadership qualities and traits that is needed to lead this country. But however, it remains to be seen if they actually will be allowed or given the privilege to actually lead. Will they be voted into office? It remains another story. Well, be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? I would like you to please drop it at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.